we've worked on these uh, multi-objective optimization problems. So there's not just a single optimum, but there's really um, a Pareto frontier of optimum. So that could be a line or some curve um, in higher spaces. Um, and uh, we've done some uh, post hoc analysis on what are the solutions that fall on this um, curve on the surface that forms the Pareto frontier. And uh, we've been able to get some sort of physical insight into, oh, you know, these types of designs uh, seem to be best for, for example, uh, anti-reflection. Um, mm -hmm. And even though we, you know, it seemed like there was certain an angle of some of the structures that we were looking at that seemed to be favored in in being on this uh, Pareto uh, Pareto frontier. Now uh, we weren't exactly sure why this angle was necessarily the best, but at least it, it did mm -hmm. seem like there was some sort of relationship there. There's some sort of underlying physics that makes um, these sort of solutions optimum. And I think perhaps that's where you know the the underlying scientific knowledge can better try to understand, oh, maybe this is why these sorts of solutions tend to be uh, be optimal. 